All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise to God and honors to you. How about Shemi Awashah, by Shemi Kakwadash, the honors to your apostles and the elders of Great Millstone that rule well. The peace and blessings to the hopeful elect. This is another edition of the Mark of the Beast. Another article from uh, ToshiTimes.com. Once again, you can see we're dealing with the uh, microchip implant. You know, it's getting more and more, uh, you know, mainstream. More and more people are talking about it. And uh, it's, it's, it's definitely... Um, you know, as they say in the world, you know the the next big thing, you know, and this is 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 you know the word of the Lord speaking, man. Okay, you know, and I always say that, you know, because the heavenly Father said that His word does not go out of His mouth void. You know, everything that's going on now is written in the scriptures, and the prophecy of the mark of the beast is one of the last uh, major prophecies. To be fulfilled before the end of the society comes, and the uh, destruction of it by uh, these thermonuclear missiles in World War Three. Okay, so uh, this is uh, from uh, two days ago. So it's, it's headline: People are using tech implants to turn their limbs into Bitcoin wallets. Okay. All right. And the Bitcoin wallets, and we've been saying that this microchip is going to be used for payments, and that's what's go and, 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 and you know, there's been, of course, plenty of evidence on that, you know, videos, but it's becoming more of a ever present thing, man, you know, um, okay, and hey, man, the world is going cashless, man, you know, a lot of these Israelites they don't really see this information and push and, and, and push it like that. Which, you know, they should if they see it, but this is just, you know, showing you where the prophets come in at. Because we see these things happening day to day, and we have to report on them, man. Um, so, like I said, it's becoming more and more, um, you know, of a, 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 a thing in the world. You know, like I said, the world's going cashless, and, you know, eventually what's going to happen is all these... Um, uh, 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 ATM machines and things, you know, they're pretty much going to be, you know, doing away with cash. But you know what they are putting out here? They're putting out these digital currency machines and different, at least where I live at, you know, down in Atlanta, you know, they have these different uh, machines and the convenience stores where you can, you know, buy Bitcoin or, you know, trade Bitcoin here or there. So, so that's like, you know, the new thing with these digital currencies. And when the world does go cashless or, or, or um, as things transition into cashless, a lot of these um, currencies are going to be converted to the microchip. Okay. So I'm going to get into it. It says those currently trading and following cryptocurrencies can arguably be called early adopters. But some are taking this further than others. A recent CoinDesk article delves deeply into one of the more extreme trends, getting microchip implants that can be programmed to act as a cryptocurrency wallet. All right. So these microchips are going to be used as a wallet, man. Okay. For your, um, your money. Okay. You know, when society... Collapses. All the government has to do is 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 is, is uh, say, well, look, you, know, you have to get these microchip implant now, um, and we're tr transferring all monies or, or or you know currencies to the microchip, and this is the new digital currency for America, you know. Um, keep reading on. It says body hacking is not a new phenomenon. Those who are interested in the prospects of this type of body hacking can watch this video. And there's a, uh, a, a link to click. It says, to follow CoinDesk editor Bailey Ruzel as she receives an RFID chip implant in order to be able to use her hand as a Bitcoin wallet. It, it, it's loud and clear. You know, these other Israelite groups like IUIC and HOI, they ain't really pushing the microchip being the mark of the beast. Hey, it's just simply that they don't have the vision. You know, they, they can't, they ain't, you know... Um, you know, if the Lord reveals it to them, that's that's between them and Yahweh. Me, I was shot. 
but it's being more and more seen be evident that they're not the the prophets because the prophets are going to speak on uh, uh, um, the mark of the beast because that's what's in the scriptures as a prophecy, especially in these last days. OK, so it says, um, uh, let's see, however, this is perhaps not as cutting edge of technology as one might first believe. In fact, Martin Wismayer, uh, colloquially called Mr. Bitcoin, received the microchip implant as far back as 2014. All right. That was just, you know, maybe four to five years ago. Um, so these people are getting these uh, microchips to pay for things, man. And that's the prophecies in the scriptures. OK. Um, let's see, I'm going to jump down a little bit. It says spectacularly, these people are effectively seeking to augment themselves with implants, technically making them real life cyborgs, albeit a far cry from the cyborgs imagined in sci fi. Uh, this technology can be used for anything from implanting NFC keys in order to give the bearer the ability to uh, example, given unlock. NFC enabled doors, machines or devices with the wave of a hand to the aforementioned alternative of implanting a cryptocurrency wallet inside of the bearer. All right. That's that uh, Karagma that you read about in the scriptures, man. And I'm going to read it prophecy. I'm going to read it because this is, you know, the, the truth. So this is Revelation 13. OK, and 16, it says, and he, which is uh, Esau. All right, calls it all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond. So it's talking about people. Okay, uh, it says to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. That mark is talking about the microchip. All right, the Greek word there is karagma. It says in verse 17, and that no man might buy or sell, so you won't be able to, to, to purchase anything, save he that had the mark. Or the name of the beast, or the number of his name. So that um, that mark, this microchip, is what people are going to be using to um, to purchase in the future. And, and and if you don't have it, then you can't. Then 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 there will be no way that you can be a part of this society. All right. Um, and what they're pushing now is something called the Internet of Things, where um, everything is going to be connected to the Internet. Everything, your, your appliances at home, uh, your, you know, your car, you know, everything, including you with this microchip, you know. Um, so that's the main point. You know, it was just something real short, um, you know, and that's just, you know, this is, is the uh, the future, man. OK, Um You know, yeah, that, yeah, that's the main point. It's just a short video just to, you know, further bring home the point of, you know, the, the, this train with the microchip implant um, and the fact that it's, it's going to be used for buying and selling. All right. But uh, with that, I'm going to end it there. All praise is going on. It goes to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rakak, Wadash, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Um, don't take the microchip. Shalom.